We're going on a road trip today and we're going to buy raw milk and it's going to be awesome. It's a little bit of a dangerous mission though because raw milk has been criminalized in many states in the U.S. Uh, different countries in Europe and Canada have banned it altogether. But in Texas, it's legal to go buy it directly from the farm. And since they started harassing farmers who went to farmers markets to sell the milk to people, we've got to go all the way out to meet them at their own place. Isn't that insane? Because the real crimes are happening in factory farms where the conditions are so dirty that there's disease and pus and grime Ah, uh, you dirt. said pus. Yeah, well, it's pretty gross. That's why I don't like to drink pasteurized milk from the store. If you keep your cows in good condition, there's less of a reason to have to pasteurize it, which actually kills all the nutrition. It really, for me anyway, defeats the purpose of drinking raw milk. Well, isn't that why organic milk is still not very good because it's been pasteurized? Organic milk is better, but it's still pasteurized. So most of the nutrition that you actually want from the milk, the whole reason to drink it is killed. So we're gonna get raw milk and it's gonna be awesome. I just don't think people realize that that buying raw milk is even an option, that, that there are farms probably near most people where they can go ahead and buy the raw milk. But on top of that, I think a lot of people have this false notion that it's bad for you. Yeah, I'm one of those people that never liked regular milk, but when I tried raw milk, not only did I feel energetic, but it tasted amazing. But my family, my grandparents especially, they said, isn't it unsafe to drink that stuff? And they were real worried about it. I was like, no, it's more healthy. As long as you it's properly store you. it, I mean, it's... Yeah, my family was like that too. I had some people in my family that were like that too. And people don't seem to realize this is the milk that everybody drank for a really long time until they had these big giant factory farms where they have to pasteurize it in order to make it something that anyone could drink. Otherwise, it would probably be lethal. Yeah. And so really, you've got all these alphabet agencies that have scared the hell out of people into buying milk that's really bad for them. And it's more convenient to just go to whatever the local grocery store, but you're not getting the nutrition. It's not as good for you. You're getting just, I mean, what is, what is milk that's been pasteurized, especially the non-organic kind? I mean, what? I think ugh. it's in the milk category. That's gross. I'm all excited. We just got this milk. This milk is awesome. This is raw milk that was one gallon bottled today. This milk is super fresh. It has not been pasteurized, and so all the nutrition is still in the milk, and I am so excited. We should show them the other stuff we got. Cherry preserves. This is gonna be awesome. This is the good stuff. No high fructose, I'm sure. Now, I'm pretty sure I've not had that before, but I'm really I've looking forward to it. I've never had it. I've never had it. Mm. So, we just got done going for the raw milk, and we went to a little family farm, and they had a little, like a little shop just right there off the side of their house. And Aaron Dykes, how did you feel about going to the little shop and buying the raw milk? Oh, that was a really charming little place, I guess, run by the missus of the family, and other people of the family were in and around it. They were super friendly. And besides the milk, they had a bunch of other products, meats and eggs and uh, home-baked preserves fresh. and stuff in jars. Yeah, it all looked really fresh and uh, cool stuff. I didn't buy all of it, but I thought about it. I mean, do you think, I mean, that's got to be what life used to be like before we had McDonald's and Walmart. It's what life used to be like, except I know those farms, because they sell raw milk, undergo constant inspections. And they really fine-tooth comb them because, let's face it, the establishment would love a reason to shut down raw milk production. They've already made it illegal to buy in a few states. They made it difficult to buy in places like Texas, where you had to go to the farms to do it, and they're not allowed to come to farmer's markets or go into actual stores. There's a couple states where you could do that, but not nearly enough. We need to fight for raw milk freedom. It's really got all the nutrition. If you're going to drink milk at all, if you're going to have dairy, raw dairy is the only way it really makes any sense. It's got a lot of protein. It's got an excellent profile of essential amino acids. But if you pasteurize it to kill germs and bacteria, as the official reason goes, you kill with it all the nutrition and you break those protein and amino acid strands that you need in your body for healing, for detoxifying, and for giving you strength. So, 
I heard in France they actually have raw milk just in machines and you can just get it anywhere. That sounds really cool. Have you heard that? I, that's what I heard. No. Well, I have, I have just one more question for you. What would happen to us if we were to drive across state lines with that milk in the car? Oh, that's like a capital crime. I mean, you know, sometimes murderers get off on probation stuff, but I don't think they'd do that for raw milk people, I think. Would they, like, SWAT the team our time. car and drag us out of it and throw us in they the They have SWAT team beat people. Beat us and uh, stuff. Yeah, like the Amish farmer, uh, what's his name, Vernon Hirschberger, he's been SWAT team multiple times for raising Amish cows and daring to sell, trade, or give away raw milk or cross state lines with it. Ooh, really spooky stuff. <laughs> Good thing people are out there doing civil disobedience with raw milk because we really have to reclaim our health freedom. The USDA and the FDA are not interested in our health. That's pretty clear from the fact that they pass all kinds of regulations to sneak in GMOs and get us to eat crap that's been processed and had all the nutrition sucked out of it, you know, grown on depleted soils and crowded, dirty factory farm conditions. That has nothing to do with raising an organic garden or raising uh, actual cows that produce healthy raw milk. Uh, that's why they SWAT team organic.